cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you've paid, bearing all my sins and shame. In love you came and gave to me. Thank you for the love, Lord. Thank you for the nailed, pierced hands. Wash me in your cleansing flow. Now all I know, your forgiveness and Welcome, welcome back to another piano lesson with Warren. My name is Warren McPherson. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because this is a channel where you learn how to play gospel music by ear, chord breakdown, music theory, technique, all of that different stuff that you need to be a better pianist completely by ear. This is what we teach over here at PianoLessonWithWarren.com. Today we're going to take a look at the song Worthy is the Lamb by uh, Hillsong. And, you know, I put my little twist on it as always. So I'm going to show you some of what I did in the intro, chord voicing, some of the runs, some of the passing chords. But also, if you want the MIDI file and the vocal backing track to everything you heard in the introduction, you can download that for free. The link is in the description of the video and you can use the MIDI file with our brand new MIDI player, which is also completely free. So stay tuned. We're going to jump in the breakdown of Worthy is the Lamb next. Okay, so Worthy is the Lamb, I am doing it in the key of E flat because that's the key I sung it in. Um, but again, with the MIDI file, you can transpose it to whatever key you want to do it in. You know, this is a beautiful song, one of my favorites for sure. And Easter is just around the corner, so this would be a good one to, you know, play as a sort of talk music in the background. Or maybe your choir or song service group may want to learn the song in time for Easter. So you'll have some chords that you can throw behind that. So key of E flat. It's E flat major scale. And the diatonic chords based on the number system for the key of E flat. E flat's the one. F minor is the two. G minor is the three. A flat major is the four, B flat major is the five, C minor is the six, B, D diminished is the seven, and then back to the one. And the reason why I'm breaking down the diatonic chords based on numbers is because in the gospel niche, in, you know, playing by ear, we primarily talk about chords based on their, based on their numeric representation or numeric position within the key. So it's important for you to learn that. Now, let's start with that first verse, right? So the melody. Right? Thank you for the cross, Lord. 
Thank you for the price you've paid. So those are the first sets of chord. We start with the one melody. Thank you for the, thank you for the cross. To the four, and then back to the one. Now, one of the things you can do is to harmonize that part. So what I'm doing is, so the one, and this is a two, minor seven, so. And then you can play that one chord in first inversion. So that's what I'm doing there. Then to the four. You can add that nine as well. Cross. But instead of going back to the one, I'm playing the one in first inversion. Cross, Lord. Such a nicer sound. But I'm also adding that nine, right? And thank you for the cross, Lord. Then you can repeat that. Thank you for the price you. You notice all my major chord I'm playing add nine. Cry price you've paid. Back to that one chord in first inversion. Da, da, da. Right? Now we're going to that second part. Bearing all my sins and shame. So we're playing the three minor seven to the six minor seven. Again, you can harmonize that part. If you want with the vocalist, right? Right, so again, we're doing the same walk. Sins and shame. Now to the five. In love you came. To the four. And all my major chords have add nine. That gives it a more mature sound. Then we're going to the two. And gave amazing grace. So we're doing a walk up from two up to that five chord. So two, one in first inversion, four to the five sus, and then result to the five. So, and gave amazing grace. Then we're back to the top with the same chords. The love, Lord. Now there's one more sort of uh, chord choice that you have that I actually played, and that's where I went to the four over five, the five over four, where you go, thank you for the cross, Lord. Before I go back to the one in first inversion, so the four, then I'm playing the five chord in my right hand and I'm keeping that four in my left you can still keep that E flat right here as well all of that sound is good so then to the four the one in first inversion da 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 then five Second time, five back to the one in first inversion. Four. Then we're going to walk down to the two. Your forgiveness and embrace. Right, so the chords right there. Are the same. Let's take it again from the top. So again, we're doing this starting. And in my left hand, start with the octave and the fifth. And in my right hand, keep for the cross, Lord. 
Five. Now to the chorus. Worthy is the Lamb. To the five in first inversion at nine. To the two. Seated on. One in first inversion. To the four. And the throne. To the five. Darling of heaven. Now we're going to play that bass, the bass moves. So we have a five with the add nine. Keep that right hand and the bass moves. If you want, you can still play that B flat, you know. Think of it as a B flat with a seven in the bass. And you can add that nine. The darling of heaven. Three, one in first inversion. Crucified. To the six, then to the two. He reigned victorious. And those chords are the same. Two, one in first inversion, four, five sus. And high and lifted up. Jesus, Son of God. Crowned him now with many crowns. Six to the two. Then worthy is the Lamb. Two, one in first inversion, four, and you can just tag that line. Oh, worthy is the Lamb. Four, five, thus. And I can just keep packing it. A lot of the time when I go to my two, I'm playing that, a minor 11. Such a nice sound chord. Now, also in the, the intro, I did a turn around right there. It's called like I add some passing chords. After we go, oh, worthy is the Lamb. Then you can go. <laughs> Again. So what I'm doing there. So it's like, you know, I'm going, I'm setting up for a 2-5 passing, going to 2, you know? So, and then that takes me to my 2. So it's basically G7, C minor 11, you know, but then I'm kind of weaving in this little movement. Right? So the right hand is moving in thirds. Throw me. Right? But in context, then 
pa 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 da da pa pa da you know the rhythm pa 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 right di da 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 Right? So that's what I'm doing right there. It's just a nice turnaround. When you have that loop, you can use that chord there. Now, there's another place throughout the song that I use a passing chord. So if we take it right the top. Um, Thank you for the cross, Lord. Thank you for the price you paid. Right here. So right there, so instead of just going, thank you for that, three, six, I'm setting it up, I'm doing a A minor, so we're doing a two, five, one, take me all the way up, right? So, but I'm, I'm voicing it so the melody is still on the top. And it's important when you're using these out of the key chords, especially in CCM style type songs, that you are voicing to the melody to kind of cushion the dissonance, right? Because this is way out. We're going. See? Two, A minor seven. And then I'm playing this D augmented. You know, you can think of this as flat 13, a sharp nine, or a flat 13, yeah, flat 13, sharp nine, so. Right? And if you want to... If your hand's big to grab those ninths. Scale. So all I'm doing is playing the E flat major scale starting on C. But quickly. Worthy is the lamb. Right? And that's a little sort of right hand movement you can use to go to two. Worthy is the lamb. Right. So I'm taking that A flat in first inversion. Seated on the throne. God on now heaven and crowned. You reign victorious. Scale again. Can you do it again? Jesus, Son of God. And worthy is the Lamb. Here we go in. Worthy is 
So you can have that nice suspension arpeggio there. So I'm playing and just uh, ba, 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 ba. So that's how I play the Worthy is the Lamb by Hill song. You know, obviously, <laughs> this is too much. You can definitely scale it back. But you know, as always, I like to mess around with the songs, with runs, passing chords. You know, push that envelope to see how far I can take it while still maintaining the essence of the song. Now, again, I know there was a lot in this and I moved a little bit fast. And the reason why I moved a little bit so fast is because I'm giving you guys the MIDI file. Because a lot of this stuff is going to require you to slow things down a lot. Um, so instead of me turning this video into an hour long, just give you guys the MIDI file. So our MIDI player, located at pianolismwithwarren.com forward slash MIDI player, is a free MIDI player that you can upload any MIDI file to. And it will play it back for you with showing you the chords and everything. And right there, you can slow it down. You can even transpose it to other keys to see what the runs and the chords and everything look like. So it's a great learning tool for people wanting to learn piano by ear and better themselves without having to rely on sheet music. You can just use the MIDI file along with that. So the MIDI file is available for free, for free along with the vocal backing track. That's me singing. Um, just so you guys can practice things to a singer. Because outside of... It's, it's hard to replicate some of these things when you don't have that melody going to play behind. So, I mean, if you're a singer yourself, you can definitely do that. But if you, you want to be able to just focus on the piano part while hearing the vocal line to, to keep you on track, that is available to download the MP3. All right? So I trust this tutorial was enlightening, educational, and entertaining for you. If you want more song breakdowns, we have dozens of song breakdown over at pianolessonwithwarren.com where I run a membership program for gospel musicians. Everything you want in gospel music, CCM, old school, choirs, hymns, reharm, and they all come with levels, beginner levels, big inter intermediate levels, and advanced levels for those who are at that stuff. So there's something over there for everybody. Along with song breakdowns, we have courses that covers every topic. Theory for all skill level, ear training for all skill level, technique building exercises, quizzes, a lot of PDFs and sheets, dozens of MIDI files downloads along with backing track. It's a wonderful community over there. So if you're looking for some structure, if you're tired of just picking up information here and there, and you're looking for step-by-step -step structure, guidance, and a place where you can get practical information as to how to practice, because that's one of the biggest thing, practicing. Doesn't matter how much information you're getting, if you're not able to break that down into bite-sized stuff that you can then work on day after day, month after month, year after year, you're just going to be gathering a lot of information that you don't know what to do with that it will eventually leave your brain. So Piano Lesson with Warren helps to set that in a structured study plan for you so that you're learning things in a particular order based on your skill level. So if that's you and you want to learn more about that, we're currently running a $1 trial where you can join the program for this $1, test it out to see if it's right for you or not. All right? PianoLessonWithWarren.com is where you can find more information on that. Until then, keep listening, keep singing, and keep practicing, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.